Hi everyone, Kimmy Beato here, same day as the last video. Okay, let's get into RuneScape and do that other uh, cooking quest. Excuse me. Don't freeze. Are you going to work? Thank you. <laughs> I only sort the driver's thing out when I really need to and it doesn't work. Um, as sometimes when you try, it doesn't work. Oh, people, stop trying to scam people. Just stop. We don't care. Why is it still coming up then if it's ignored? Right. What do we need? People don't realise how annoying that is. Like, no one is going to listen to you. Everyone knows you're a scammer. Oh, let's just go and get it. <laughs> we will get um, rooms out just in case as well. been invited to join a clan oh I don't want to be okay I've joined a clan um I was talking about plans in the last video as well, wasn't I? That's how easy it is. I've just messaged in the clan, so hopefully they speak English, because not everyone does on this game find out if we should stay in it or not. Right, right, I've lost focus now. Go for it, sorry. Hello. Thank you. Wow. Rude.
Oh, hey, you look like you've done some. I just need you to eat out. some of this meat I've cooked up. It looks really suspicious, doesn't it? It's like, mm, I'm not doing anything wrong. <sighs> well, it's not real personal sure about or anything that? like that. I just need you to give it a taste and tell me what you think. No reason. I thought you might have heard about that accident. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, scarf that down and tell me what you think. That, my friend, was a new type of meat I've discovered. I call it bacon. No, I named it after myself. Eli Bacon. Bacon, like my last name. That's what all the Greek people do. What would you say if I told you it was from a pig? Well, it's a long story. But let me ask you something first. What would you say pigs are good for? And what else? Exactly. Aside from pig wrestling, they're useless. They're just big, smelly animals that eat loads of food. Oh, well, even pig wrestling is in decline thanks to all these new sports like castle wars and dueling. Thanks to all these popular pastimes, there's no demand for pigs. I think only me and Martin keep them these days. And he only keeps them because of the tourist money generated by his freakishly large pig, Pigzilla. Basically, if people find out that pigs taste delicious when cooked, how long do you think it'll take to eat them all? I just look at what happened to those useless no-horned unicorns that were all over the place a few years ago. When people worked out they tasted good, they were wiped right out. What we'll do is get people wanting pigs for something other than meat. After all, people keep cows around for milk and sheep for wool. Well, if we can convince them pigs are good for something, then they'll start breeding them again. Once the numbers are back up, we can reveal the tasty truth to everyone. By that point, there'll be enough pigs that people can eat as many as they want. I have a plan. What we're going to do is... <sighs> What's out? Those are some of the locals. They know about bacon. I gave a few of them a taste and now they're addicted. They're crazy. <laughs> Don't worry. So long as you lock that gate behind you, we should be all right.
Good work. While they're eating that bacon, we can get this show on the road. You remember I said I had a plan to drive up demand for pigs? Well, this what we do is we raise an amazing pig. I mean, a real monster. One that people will come from miles around to see. Then we train it to do some sort of trick. We show it off to all kinds of folks, and they go nuts for pigs. And before you know it, demand for pigs will soar. And then, bam, we bring out bacon and make a fortune. Well, it is called bacon. I'm sure that legally they'll have to pay me money when they start making it. Oh, he sent off a form and promised to hand over lots of money to secure the rights to call pig meat bacon. <laughs> it can't fail. I know. All we need to do is work out what a pig is good for. Any idea? <laughs> How will that get people interested? That's a good idea you had there. I remember now what we I need had our to show play. pig. Go have a word with Martin. You can always find him by. Right. See you later. Right. Feelings have gone really cool again. Right, one sec. has really fallen out of the pig wrestling game. You'd be better off investing in a cow. Oh, that is good news. I suppose I could give you a piglet if that's the case. Hold on there. I need you to do something for me first. I don't know who it is, but someone has been picking my pockets. I think it was one of those dodgy types over to the west. I want you to find out who did it and give them a thrashing. No, that's a little too much. Just give them a good kicking and I'll give you the piglet. Remember, one of them will be lying about where he was when it happened. Just find out who doesn't have an alibi. If they can't tell... Tell ya. 
Just go and ask him. Yeah, wonderful. I was with Chris. He'll tell you. Just going on. I was with Ed. That's right. I was with him all day. What are you on about? I was with Chris. He'll tell you. Just go and ask him. I'm just guessing now. What do you mean? He was with me all day. Was with Chris. You all have an alibi. Right. Shut your hole. He's innocent. I was with Bert. Me and him go way back. We do. He'll tell you. Just go and ask him. I was with Ed. Me and him. Which one's that? Yeah, whatever. I was with Chris. Yeah, he'll back me up. With Ed. Right. It's gotta be Bert. Me and him go what? I was with Dan. We were minding our own business, you know. Shut up. I... <sighs> so I've done it tomorrow. I was with Chris. And then go way back, we do. All right, you got me. There we go. What? Oh, that took a while. Quite a few of them, though, were not there? It's good to finally. I did indeed. You'll be laughing. Is that it? Yeah. I mean, well, no, but I, you know, there are lots. So, so is that really it? Oh, look, a piglet and a kitten. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Isn't the pig chubby and cute? <laughs> and the kitten fluffy and adorable? They are the best of friends <laughs> and have adorable adventures every day. Oh, this part's funny. <laughs> I, can, I can literally taste my own agony. Help! They dress up in little costumes and run around with all their woodland chums. Oh, By the gods, he's had enough. 
What high jinks and capers they get up to. <laughs> okay, okay, I think he's learned his lesson. Leave him be. <laughs> learned lesson. Go in hospital. Now. <laughs> Uh, I'm that's gotta pretty be one of the sure you just scared off game. every pickpocket in the district. Well done. You've more than earned this little piglet. <sighs> okay, we've done that now. I gotta go back to bacon. in the right way out. I don't think you am you know. Oh yeah I am. Someone might not be fine yet, but we'll see. Great! Did he ask much for it? Sounds like a fair enough trade. Let's take a look at that piglet then. What we need to do now is work on making a machine to train the pig. What was it you thought they could do again? Haul stuff about for you. I have some plans drawn up, but I think you... All it'll take is a couple of planks. I'd help out myself, but I broke my hammer. I, I, no, I meant I broke my hammer mending a fence ruined by hikers. Yeah, that's what happened. Anyway, not wanting to change the topic or anything, after you've built it, you'll need to upgrade it to train the pig. That should only take a couple of iron bars and three... In fact, I have those here for you. Here, since you can take it all now, that'll save you time when you're done building it. See you later. All right. Uh, where, where is it? Um. We need to fatten this little fellow up a bit, make him look more impressive like. 
I have plenty of pig feed, but we should probably mix in some wheat to fortify it a little. Would you mind grabbing some for me? Five, there's a field over by Draenor that you... Right, see you later. That should keep us sorted for... Your pig is still... I don't think we can keep this news under wraps for much longer. Those... Wait, that's it. Of course! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, don't mind me. I just thought of something funny about... pigs. I have had an idea, though. What this little squealer needs is some good, healthy exercise. Ah, keeping him cooped up down here won't do him any good. We need to get him up and about in the sunshine. If we can clear the yard of addicts, then we can take him for a good old trot about in the fresh air. Here, I use this sleeping potion sometimes when I need to get pigs to sleep. Suspicious. Just that old skull and crossbones label off. <laughs> there, that should do it. <coughs> Now you just go up there, attach some bacon to one of those pig statues you made, and then pour some potion onto it. When they tuck into it, they'll fall asleep. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll do that. Just head up into the field through the trapdoor to begin. I'll leave the bacon and sleeping potion up there for you. The, uh... There yeah, I could I almost didn't see them stairs. How's the yard looking now? Don't worry about that. The potion takes a while to act. Makes it more of a surprise when they start to get sleepy. I mean, it's best to slip an animal this stuff when they don't expect it. Hey, how are you feeling, by the way? Oh, no reason. Tell you what, in case the potion doesn't work, why don't you go get me some onions? Well, you know how garlic repels vampires? I'm convinced that onions will repel these bacon addicts. <clears throat> Look, I invented bacon, so I should know how it works. Bacon and onions are two strong flavors, and they just don't go together. To those hard, specifically fresh like onions. Up to something, do you? So if you can go and get me a... That's right so far. Look, I'm the bacon expert here. Oh, don't worry. I've got it under control. Okay, let's go get you some onions for no reason whatsoever. Um, I think you already have onions. <sighs> and we're 29 minutes in and my hair gets on my nerves sometimes. Right. How many onions do we need? Five.
and one day um, we will make our own plan. It's just I'm gonna wait for a bit first until all my levels are up because it's really awkward to make one and you want your um, clan to be top tier and it takes forever. Tier? Top tier? Top tier? One of them. <coughs> and you have to have um, quite a few people join it. So obviously you have to get your name about. On the game. Can I help you with something? <sighs> See if it works. <laughs> Well, apparently the onions aren't good enough. Okay. I don't know what difference this makes. The addicts, uh... Oh yes, your pig is still hungry and with the addicts gone, he'll eat. we might as well top up the supplies in case the meat runs out. Meals, I meant in case his meals run out. No, it doesn't. It sounds perfectly reasonable. Perfectly reasonable. That should keep us safe if more addicts appear. I suppose the next thing to do is turn on the machine and see how well... Well, you built the thing. I doubt the pig will be much use just from this, but it'll look just grand. And that's all we need. If the pig looks good... Okay. I oh, really need to open that, I think. I don't know. Guess it's better than nothing. 
Come here, you. does, although I think I should give it a tweak while you're away. Maybe I can dig up some of the clothes, packs, and armor buried in the field to equip the pigs a little better. People keep on dropping things in there, like old clothes, hats, money, personal possessions, and unwanted limbs. I bury them in the field to keep the place from getting untidy. Look, it's a farming thing. You wouldn't understand. Okay. No, I didn't kill any. Wait, what? You, you believe that? No reason. Remind me to get you as a character witness if I ever need one. Anyway, take that pig round the big cities to show it off. Lumbridge Castle Courtyard, Barrop Marketplace, or Dugney Marketplace, and near the North Falador Gate would be the best places to give. If nothing else, they're next to those. Don't be frightened to let the pig. Here, this should help your memory. And if you don't like. All right. Oh, that guy is suspicious, isn't he? There, stranger. Is it pig wrestling day already? I need to get my wrestling hat. Oh, that sounds useful, but can it also carry? Huh? And, and can it keep my items safe from pickpockets? I heard that some fled here from Draenor recently. Well, stranger, your pig certainly... But, uh, just out of interest, where can we get trained? Yes, we've had to cancel the last three pig wrestling days because we couldn't find one. We had to use a goblin in the end. It just wasn't the same. That's a great option. Okay. Okay, never mind. That's a great idea. Three cheers.
great idea. still today. Nearly done. Yeah, this uh, this quest unlocks um, bacon and. Um, I think you get a pet pig as well. And you need to skill up on your cooking to be able to unlock this quest. Welcome back. It worked. We've had about a dozen others have put in orders for play that Martin's in the same. Only thing is, well, well, I suppose you're right. In a year or so, we can start. This calls for us. Can I help you with something? Very well. Here we go. When I sent through town, I'm a bacon gown, I'm a notorious P.I.G. I was now in Stalin with a pork medallion and an onion ring on three. Every day of what they'll say, dancing and mixing every day. There you go. Well, you sent them to the apartment. Inside a bacon shuffle. And a great big pocket of all your troubles. Boy, see you later. <laughs> How far are we in? 43 minutes. Well, it's been fun. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and toodaloo, mofos.